hello, Dr. Swicky here and welcome to my Making Math Fun series for elementary learners. In today's lesson, we'll be tackling introductory fractions. What is a fraction? A fraction is a part of a whole. We write a fraction as one number over another number. Fractions are especially necessary and useful when we need to split things up or divide things into equal parts. When we write a fraction, the bottom number or the denominator tells us how many parts the whole is divided into and the top number tells us how many parts we have. Let's take a look at an example. This pizza has been cut up to make four equal size slices called quarters. Each slice or each piece is a quarter of the whole pizza. But what does that mean? This means that each slice is one part of the original pizza, which was divided into four parts. Remember, we write a fraction as the number of parts we have, the numerator over the total number of parts, the denominator. Take a look. Sometimes we have unit fractions or non-unit fractions because a fraction can be a part of one thing, like half a pizza, or a part of a group, like half the crayons in a box. A unit fraction has one as its numerator. It's one part of a whole that's divided into equal parts. Let's divide our pizza into different unit fractions, into eights. Can you see that the larger the denominator, the smaller the slice is? Take a look, one half, one third, one quarter, one fifth, one sixth, one seventh, one eighth. This is a perfect example of a unit fraction. A non-unit fraction has a numerator that is more than one. Fractions can describe the parts of a whole, like some of these crayons in the box. Let's take a look. There are 12 crayons. Four of them are blue. We can say, four twelfths are blue, or we can say there are eight crayons, five of the crayons are red, and we can describe this as five eighths are red. We also have improper fractions and mixed numbers. Improper fractions and mixed numbers are two different ways of showing the same amount. Improper fractions happen because sometimes fractions are not always less than a whole. When we have to show that the number of parts is greater than the whole, we can write the result as an improper fraction or as a mixed number. Let's take a look. In an improper fraction, the denominator is actually less than the numerator. And so the numerator is larger than the denominator to let us know that the parts make up more than one whole. We can see that each piece is half of a whole pizza. So we can say we have five lots of half a pizza and we can write this as the improper fraction five over two. This means that we have five parts and each part is one half of a whole. A mixed number is a whole number together with a proper fraction. It's simply another way of writing an improper fraction. Take a look. If we put our pizza halves together, we can make two whole pizzas with one half left over. And so we can describe the amount of pizzas we have as two whole pizzas and a half. We can write it as two and a half is equal to the improper fraction five over two. Let's recap. In today's lesson, we have learned what a fraction is, we learned about unit fractions, non-unit fractions, improper fractions, and mixed numbers. Again, a fraction is a part of a whole thing or a group of things. We use fractions every day in our real world and in our real lives. For more freebies and additional math resources, please visit my website. Thank you for learning with Dr. Sreke today. See you in the next lesson.